very sad by Michael and Johnson over the weekend that uh, his um, being a descendant of a slave has been very helpful in him being a superior athlete. He says, I believe there's a superior athletic gene, athletic gene in us. Uh, difficult as it was to hear, slavery has benefited descendants like me. I believe there's a superior athletic gene in us. And um, I, I know that he's a, a tough, outstanding athlete uh, for Olympics and uh, has done exceptionally well. Uh, coming from Texas, I think I looked up his um, resume once and uh, he was attending some educational institution in Texas. But um, I don't know if I could fall upon uh, his education, whether as an athlete he was able to spend time in academics or just sports. But there are so many other people who are slaves. Um, you know, Africa had enslaved the rest of the world. But yet it comes down to uh, blacks now see, seem to be saying that because of the slavery um, or something, it has created some gene that makes them a severe athlete and so on. Athlete and so on. And I have to disagree with this. Now, this is fitting into the stereotypes where black people are only athletic and um, they should be on the various sport teams as opposed to being on the scholarship team. And so when the white folks, you know, pushing black kids into sports or into uh, industrial sort of arts or so we're working in factory then we have a problem with that. So what about Obama? Obama is mixed. Um, you know, he has a scholar father who was an African, uh, who was not slave, man right, coming from New York and so on, you know, eventually uh, our genes are from New York. But yet he excelled in basketball. And um, you know, he's also a scholar, so it seems as if um, well, of course, he has a right, and I'm um, a black, and my kids' college and jeans came from the white. But his father was a scholar, probably too. However, um, I, I don't agree with um, Mr. Johnson in, in his uh, conclusion here, because the real fact is that perhaps slavery has something to do with it, with prejudice and the disdain that the others show for black people, and take keeping us out of business and other graduate school, business graduate school and all that, has put black folks back up against the world. And furthermore, some of these other sports, you know, it requires a, a, a fat outlay of um, resources to acquire equipment, say like um, basketball, not like basketball hockey, the stick, the gloves, the um, knee pads or the shin pads for the guard, uh, the rope cage, all that, that's almost a thousand dollars plus and um, plus fees probably to, to train and so forth. But running is free. Basketball is free. All these things are free. Now, there's a dark skin guy who won uh, swimming gold in one of the Olympics. And his mom is white, but he, he comes out dark like me. And um, of course, uh, I don't know if his parents are divorced, but he lived in the white community. We have all these resources from pool, coach, and pool and and he was able to do well. In fact, there's a black guy who was into the um, uh, winter sports, uh, in speed skater, and um, he won almost every competition he's in, and some of his white uh, counterparts are upset to that. So, I don't think necessarily that's the case. Now, the winter sports coming from New York, you know, the, the cold and wild black come from the heat, the temperature, the, the tropical climate here. Um, they have this natural thing, and the, the winter sports are from New York, uh, the culture and all that. Now you have Jamaicans getting the bob sled and so on. But um, if blacks were to, you know, go into winter sports, that would stand about if you have to pull up money, it might be a barrier for the majority. But if it were possible that uh, these equipment would be loaned and free and all that, they would do well also. And that because, again, they lack the opportunities in other uh, spheres of the, the, the culture. Um, I believe that if whites were in a similar position like us, if blacks had enslaved the whites, then and keep them out from business and from finance and from all opportunities, they would have excelled in sports and the blacks would have said, I don't need to go through all that hardship or all that playing or all these hours, I, I need to, you know, um, go to school so I could get me a, a, a career in law or something like that, or medicine. So, uh, you know, it, it's it's not straight up because of that and because you're the son of slavery and we're good athletes. Um, because there are many, many black people who are not good athletes, but they're good scholars. 
um, um, of course, uh, certain traditions now they are, and you don't have a dominance in, in Ivy League and so forth, uh, which is another reason why blacks are kind of, you know, going to the sports because you can't get into Yale, you can't get into Harvard, you can't get into top, some of the top schools simply because uh, this, the, the tests perhaps are skewed towards whites and it's created by whites and whites play these games and that's how they live so that they're able to function and those tests and score high and end up, you know, getting into Ivy League. So um, this is, this is a, a false kind of premise that uh, he's doing well because he's a descendant of uh, black slaves and so forth. Uh, by the way, there was a, uh, what was his name? Uh, I'm thinking Mr. Bright. Yeah, he died um, a couple of years ago. He was from, I think it was Sudan. Um, and he was, a, he was tall and he was playing basketball in the NBA. So I'm not here, and he was no slave. He was even come through here with the British or the French into the Caribbean or to, into uh, in North America or uh, to the West. So as to, you know, say, well, you know, this is slavery gene in him, or it's a black gene in him or what. But I think this is um, you know, Johnson needs to be careful with how he's um, sort of uh, characterizing things, but I don't think his observations are reliable, valid, or real.